Damn, that's good. That is my morning coffee, my friends. Good morning to you all. Hope you all are having a wonderful start to your week. Today is Tuesday. So, uh, I guess a little update for you all. In about two weeks, yeah, two weeks time, I will no longer be working with my family. Uh, I thought I'd kind of let you guys know that. I won't have a nine to five anymore at all. So it's it's gonna be extremely different. Like all my all my life as a you know as a working man, I've always had a nine to five, and you know that's the norm for people nine to five. You know, I won't have it anymore. I'm extremely excited. Uh, I won't I won't kind of cover what I'm gonna be doing un until. I start because I kind of want to keep that a secret and kind of, you know, keep you guys on a on a dangling rope there. So, um, kind of keep you guys anxious, but I'm extremely excited and uh, it's just a new, it's a new start of, I mean, it's a brand new chapter for me. Brand new year, brand new chapter and, you know, it's just one of those things where you know, when you when you find yourself trapped in a cycle, like a like a freaking circle, every single day of the week, and you're miserable. You know, you get up, especially on Mondays, right? You get up to go to work on Mondays, and you feel miserable. Like you dread it. You don't want to go, and you have to tell yourself at that point, "What am I doing? Like, what what am I doing with my life?" You know, when you're young, you have opportunities to go out and do something different, right? You have the energy, you have the ability to go out and be adventurous and, and try new things. Granted, you know, if you were to quit your nine to five, you have to have a fallback. You, you, you know, you can't just quit and not have anything in mind. You have to have something that can back you up financially. With that being said, you know, me starting this whole new thing, you know, I, I had to tell my family, hey, I'm not gonna be working here anymore. And especially my dad, you know, he took it the best way possible, if not even better than I ever expected. Like he, my dad told me, why didn't you do this before? You know, if you had this opportunity two years ago, why didn't you take the opportunity? For me, that's a huge, huge shocker that he would respond to in a way like that because you know I come from a family where it's like I think all families when your family has a really big business you know I think it's the norm for them to go in like for you as a as a son or as a daughter whatever the case may be to go into that company and help them take over so that you know one day they may retire and you do that I didn't want to do that you know, you guys, a lot of you guys know who have been watching my channel for a very long time, know that I, you know, my, my family does restaurant distribution and manufacturing of plastic bags and stuff. I didn't go to college for that. You know, I, I, I didn't go to college to be stuck in a freaking warehouse all freaking day and live my life in a freaking circle every single day. I'm 25 years old and, you know, my life is just beginning, you know. I graduated college a couple years ago, like three years ago, and it's only up from here. I, I, I will never know until I try. Have so many things in life that I want to do, and what I guess what I'm trying to say to you guys is, <laughs> I mean, I said it earlier, but if you're waking up on a Monday to go to work or even every single day of the week, right? And you don't want to go to work. You need to find something different in your life. You need to. You need to go out, be adventurous, seek risks, and take them, you know? For me, I'm scared. Like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be beating around the bush with you guys. With this new job, I'm extremely scared. 
my my new job will be extremely just commission based just to let you guys know so pre pretty much it's a eat what you kill kind of deal right if i don't make any sales i don't fucking eat i don't i don't i can't pay my bills i can't make any money so that's gonna force me to hustle obviously right and uh you know I, i'm not i'm not trying to be the fucking multi-millionaire guy who you know drives all these freaking nice cars has all these nice houses i i'm not really seeking all that now granted that would be nice but at the end of the day like not everyone in life was meant for that not everyone was made to be a multi-millionaire to have lamborghinis and ferraris and big ass houses and 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 go on all these fancy vacations and everything like that. Not everyone was made for that. You know, at, at some point in life, you do have to be content. You do have to be happy with what you have as opposed to trying to be greedy and get more and more and more. You know, but that is life. You know, you, you do have to go out there and get more. So, I guess I'm just really excited to share with you all like, a, this brand new chapter in my life and on top of that I'm gonna have a lot more time for YouTube because I won't have a nine-to-five there will be days where I'm extremely busy like you know probably like 12 hour days which I'm already having now but there'll be some days where I just don't do anything at all you know you know I won't have like a meeting or anything so I just wanted to share with you all that little uh, thing that's going on with me right now little life update fucking excited guys fucking excited so i will see you all later i think i'm training legs today with tim all right guys i'll show you my lunch prepare yourselves prepare yourselves Woo! so i got three cheeseburger sliders 96.4 with some salad yeah damn guys use these like jalapeno buns holy shit so far oh my gosh shit mm. damn guys prep is awesome <laughs> let's go let's go Oh, I guess let's, go. let's go. Let's go, Kennedy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Up with it. Up with it. Up, up, oh, up, up, get another one. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Keep going. Let's go. PR. Let's go. Get let's it, go. Bro. Set the foundation for 17. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Good shit, bro. Jesus, bro. Yeah. Shit, shit, man. Russ is coming for you. All right, guys, leg day here with Tim, Solly. So we're killing it right now. And uh, hit some leg press to warm up, as you saw. Kennedy hit 495. First single, I would say, I to feel like the second rep, he got help. Fucking killed it, guys. So we're going to hit some legs. Feeling good and hyped. Let's go. So successful leg day. But I'm not going to talk about the leg workout. I'm just going to let this kind of... Uh, these workout clips kind of play over as I'm kind of talking. Um, I mean, you know, we could talk about the workout, but I feel like, you know, you guys already know what's up. But successful leg day with uh, Alex, which is Shali's cousin, Shali and Tim. The gym was hyped today. Okay, on to my point. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, you guys heard about me talking about, you know, taking risks, taking, you know, just being adventurous and everything like that. Um, I think there, you know, you see all of us YouTubers and you see all of these Instagrammers, they talk about, you know, they come from all these background stories, right? All these people say, I came from nothing, I, you know, I persisted and, you know, I overcame a lot of obstacles and I feel like, okay, cool, you know, everybody has their own story, everyone has a story, you know, as to why, you know, they were successful or why they, they're doing what they're doing right now, right? Um... I'm at a point in life where I feel like a lot of people are at this point, right? Um, I woke up one morning, you know, I, I think like five or six months ago, uh, you know, and I was thinking, what am I doing with my life? You know, I went to college and I pretty much studied like uh, kinesiology, which is pretty much, 
science, I meant science of kind of like the body, like nutrition and stuff like that and how it operates like biomechanics and stuff. I realize I'm not happy with myself. I'm not happy with what I'm doing. Um, Obviously not regarding the social media aspect, not regarding the workouts and stuff, but I'm talking about regarding like my own life, okay? So I think, I think, you know, into the future and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do five years from now? Like, where do I see myself five years from now? And I think that that's where a lot of people uh, kind of slip because they don't, a lot of people don't really plan for the future. They have all these short term goals and, you know, like one month, one year and so on. Right. But they don't have these, these big goals as to why, like they're doing what they're doing. Right. Are they setting themselves up for success? Are they setting themselves up for a future in which they can be comfortable with? Or are they one of those people who uh, have $1,000 in their bank account or not even $1,000 and they're 26 years old, 25 years old, 28 years old, or, or, or whatever the case may be, right? They're finished college and they don't have like ambition, right? They work their asses off, right? Nine to five and, and, and they grind. And then they party on the weekend, spend a shit ton of money, and then do it all over again on Monday through Friday, right? That should not be how your life is run, guys. And I and I get it. You're like sometimes, you know, there isn't an alternative, but there always is an alternative, guys. You guys have to go out and seek it. It's not gonna come to you, you know. Like sh- shit, this doesn't happen overnight, you know. Like I said, everyone has a story, and I get it. You know, I, I, I get it, right? And I'm get, I'm feeling really passionate about this because, like, it's happened to me. Like, within this past year, I felt like this. I wasn't happy with where I was going in my life. Like, okay, I'm making pretty decent money. I'm driving a nice car. Okay, whatever, you know? It's just a car at the end of the day. You know, Jess makes me happy. YouTube makes me happy. Social media makes me happy. And working out makes me happy. One of the most important aspects of my life the money-making aspect, the aspect in my life that's able to provide for my future, I was not happy. I am three years out of college now, um, and you know I'm working with my family. And uh, sorry, guys, my phone rang. I'm working with my family, and it's not getting me where I want to be. It's not allowing me to be happy. Sorry, guys. And uh, I think that that was a huge wake up call for me, you know, like I would go on vacation and I would always, you know, think about like, oh, what's I wonder what's going on in the company? Like, you know, I hope everything's okay. And that's fine. You know, like that's that's part of life, like when you're working and stuff like that. But I was never like I repeat, guys, I was never carefree at one point in my life. Like even when I was on vacation, you know, I was still always, always like not on vacation. My mind just wasn't there. And, you know, I guess that just comes with my mindset. Like I'm very, I'm a very like ambitious person. I always like to work and work and work and I don't like to sit on my ass, but I should not, or you should not be living your life like that, guys. You should be able to, you know, when, when you want to enjoy yourself, you should be able to enjoy yourself. If you work your ass off, you have to be enjoying yourself. And that is what the wake up call was about for me. So I've, I've ventured out and I'm about to start a freaking new chapter of my life. And I tell you guys, you have to be uncomfortable in your life and you have to evolve and do something different if you're not happy. And that's what I'm doing, guys. And I want to stress to you guys, like, you can do it. You know, I'm scared and you will probably be scared too, but you can't let that deter you. You can't let that drive away from you know, you being successful in life or you being happy right and having your own freedom and stuff like that, right? So I want to leave you guys with that, guys. Just think about that. Like, just go out and be scared, be ambitious, be be just courageous, you know? I hope you guys all enjoyed this little rant that I had going on, but I love you guys, man. Thanks for watching once again, guys. Please enjoy the rest of the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Solid, solid workout. Me, Tim, Alex, Shali's cousin, and uh, Shali. 
Killed it. It was amazing energy in the gym today. As you saw, I hit 365 for a single. Um, not a PR, but you know, I didn't even feel good today. But I got 365, so I'm happy with that. Uh, we killed legs, like murdered it. So just had an ice cream popsicle. And uh, this is gonna be my last meal for the day. I have a shit ton of carbs to hit. So right now I'm cooking up Kodiak cakes. I have three and a half servings of Kodiak cakes. That's gonna be pretty much like my last meal with some candy and stuff like that and finishing it off. So great day. Uh, we had a you know 12 hour shift at work today and then killed in the gym, legs. So amazing day. Prep is going extremely well so far. Um, for those of you who are asking or who are wondering how intermittent fasting is going for me, which means I'm fasting 16 hours a day and my first meal is up until 2 p.m. Uh, I'm loving it right now. Like, to be honest, I'm kind of training my, my, my mind the right way. And so I feel good, I feel amazing, but awesome day, like I said. So thank you all for watching this video. I'm going to conclude it here. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you all enjoyed the workout and everything. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will see you all in the next one. Love you guys.